Hello, my dears and my darlings. Welcome to your message for May 3rd or whatever date it is when you happen to see this. We're setting the intention for the next 24 hours for all those who stumble upon this video, whenever that may be, okay? Yesterday's message, a lot of people were feeling the effects of negative ego. Not surprising, we're in a time of great change. So we're going to connect here and see what is coming up for the next 24 hours. So the card that's coming up here, ooh, is the Seven of Swords. So Seven of Swords comes up in a few different ways, okay? Seven of Swords tells us that um, we may be dealing with people who are not what they seem, okay? So this is a time for you to be cautious and look out for anybody who just is like, telling you um, exactly what you want to hear or they just seem so uh, precisely or so perfectly in tune with you where you're like oh my gosh we have the same brain or oh my gosh um, you know uh, we're like identical right a lot of the times when those things happen people will message me for a reading and they're like oh I found my twin because like everything is so exact but sometimes what's happening is you're dealing with someone who's very intuitive and they know how to read you. And they know that if you knew who they were or how they were, you wouldn't give them the time of day. So they put on the mask and they show up as exactly everything that you're looking for. And so pay attention to anyone who's like, oh my God, me too. Oh my God, me too. To where everything is just so exact. That's one way that you can be like, oh, this is kind of weird. How do we have exactly every exact thing in common, right? How, how, how weird is that? Um, pay attention to anybody that you've known for a long time. You've been uh, friends with for a long time. They've been on your social media for a long time. But all of a sudden, they're sliding into your DMs. All of a sudden, they're trying to talk to you when they've had years. They see the changes in you. They see the shifts in you. They see that you're about to have a come up. And so they're being all sneaky. And they're coming in right before this come up uh, peaks so that they can say, oh, but you know what? I've always been there for you. I've been there for you like since the beginning, like before all this stuff went down, before all this stuff came in for you. I was, I was your friend. I was hanging out with you. I was interested in you. I'm not like these fake people that are paying attention to you all of a sudden that the success came in. No, they knew the success was coming in. They spotted it and they tried to get in right before. So be cautious of that anybody who's known you a long time and who has had nothing but time to get to know you and all of a sudden they're in your dms all of a sudden they're trying to talk to you uh seven of swords can also come up when spirit is saying this is not the time to broadcast your future plans to everybody right um this is not the time to tell everybody what you're doing or what you're up to because uh, you might have people discouraging you or, you know, kind of like uh, putting poison in your ear or being negative or bringing your vibe down. Or they might try to steal your ideas and beat you to it. If you're doing anything with collaborating with people, make sure you have things in writing. Make sure you have legally binding contracts in place. Don't show people your work or what you're working on because there can be a lot of people that are going to try to take credit for it. I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy. You just have to understand that right now we're going through a big shift and negative ego is strong right now. That came up in yesterday's reading and not everybody is going to be as high vibrational as you. Not everybody is going to say, you know what, this is the negative ego making me feel like I'm not good enough and I know it's a lie and I know I'm going to move past that. Other people dealing with the negative ego right now are like, oh my gosh, I'm not good enough. And they're looking at you like you're in the way. They got to get you out of the way. You're the competition, right? They see the world and the universe is very limited. There's, there's not enough to go around and you're standing in between them and success. And so they got to push you out of the way. They got to beat you to it. Not everyone's going to be high vibrational like many of you are. 
So understand that when people get scared and people get insecure, the ugliness comes out. And so we may be seeing people behave in a very ugly way, in a very ugly manner. Be cautious with situations at work. Those of you who are working, try to document your work. Try to document any instructions that you're receiving. You may have somebody uh, come in and uh, on, on purpose give you the wrong instructions on how to do something and, and you follow it to the T and then your supervisor comes in and they're like, what the heck is this? Why did you do this? And they're really upset. And you go, oh, that's what they told me to do. And that person's like, oh, what? No. Oh my gosh. No, I would never. I would never. Everybody knows that's not how you're supposed to do it. I would never. It's not my fault if that's what you understood, but that's not what I said. So how do you cover your behind in a situation like that? Send an email. Hey, so-and-so, thanks for sitting down and training me on how to do this. So just like per per your instructions, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do A, B, and C. And they don't write you back. They don't say anything. And you do A, B, and C. And then your boss comes yelling at you, why did you do A, B, and C? And you say, well, that's what they told me to say. And that person says, oh, I would never. You misunderstood me. Oh, really? Well, I told you. I ran it by you. Let me print out that email real quick. Here's the email. You didn't write me back. You didn't correct me. But I told you that's what I understood. And when you didn't write me back, I just assumed that we were good to go. That is a way in which you can cover your back. Double check your work. I'm not trying to make people paranoid, but double check your work, you know, um, and make sure that, that, that things are in order. Um a lot of you have heard me tell the story when I was a, a paralegal and I was working in a, in a law office and I had to put together a trial binder for like the mean, the meanest, scariest lawyer. Like <laughs> he was the scariest man and he was so mean and so hurtful. Like when he'd get upset and he would go off and he was like a big shot and like he could have you fired like in a second. I'm like, great, I got to I got to work with this guy. I, it was terrible. And I put everything together. I left for the evening. I came back the next morning. Everything was in order. But something told me, something was like, girl, check each and every single page of the documents. I, I don't normally do that. But something told me, check every page. And when I went through the documents, the documents were in the right order. But the pages of the documents were all scrambled. So it was like page one, page 15, page two, page 17 page 10, page four, like it was all over the place. And if I hadn't checked that, and if I had sent that off, oh my gosh, it would have been terrible. It would have, it would have been very bad. And I was not in a position where I could lose that job at that time. So just double check your work. Don't be in fear. Don't be in fear. There's no need to be in fear. Just ground yourself, stay calm, take your time, uh, double check your work, make sure that you're running things by people, make sure you're keeping a record. Those of you who are working because there might be insecure people around you that are doing shady stuff. Also be cautious of anybody coming at you with gossip. You know, you might just be like, well, I'm not going to get involved in the gossip and I'm not going to say anything. But just by you listening, they're going to try to pull you into it, right? If they come and they say, oh, can you believe, uh, you know, what she said to me? And she said this and she said that. And uh, I, I, I couldn't believe how toxic she is or whatever. And you're like, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. I can't believe that happened. Or, oh, my gosh, that's terrible. Oh, I, I, I had no idea. And that's all that you said. You didn't contribute to it in any way. Then they go off and they run and they tell that person, oh, my gosh, do you know what they said about you? And meanwhile, they were the ones saying everything. So any kind of toxic conversation, anybody who's coming at you complaining or um, like venting about somebody, just excuse yourself. Excuse yourself from it. Oh, sorry, I forgot to do something. Or, oh my gosh, I, I, I got to go, right? Like, don't stay there. Even if you're not contributing to the conversation, they may try to pull things in. And for some of you, some of this stuff might not become apparent, until Mercury retrograde. We have Mercury retrograde uh, that's starting on the 10th, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's going to go from May 10th to June 2nd. So there could be things happening today 
or in the next 24 hours that might not resurface until around Mercury retrograde. But just in general, take your time, right? Mercury retrograde is coming up. We've had a lot of intense energies. Just be cautious with your steps. Don't don't rush things. Don't rush to make things happen. Don't try to force anything. Uh, don't uh, try to seek validation from others. Um, just do what you need to do and just take it one day at a time, one step at a time. No need to rush. No need to hurry. And take your time with 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 the things that you're doing or the things that you're working on, right? Especially as we move into the Mercury retrograde energy um, next week, you know, you're going to be in the energy of the time of reworking, revising, revisiting things. So don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a rush, right? Uh, slow and steady wins the race. Just uh, pay attention to your steps. Pay attention to uh, procedure. Pay attention to... Uh, you know, uh, the way you're going about doing things and just focus on, focus on you right now. And don't be so concerned with the attitudes of other people. Cause like I said, some people are really insecure right now and they might be nasty. Don't take it personal. Don't take it as, you know, uh, they're disrespecting you or, or they don't think that you're worthy or anything like that. Right. People are just kind of projecting how they're feeling about themselves so uh gosh I know it's not the funnest card uh, to wake up to or to start the day to but these things come up not to scare us not to be negative but to help us you know move through the energies move through uh the vibe and to be successful right they come in to help us to be successful with these messages they're not doomsday messages they're not messages for you to be afraid but just to be aware and to take the appropriate steps so that you can have a favorable outcome. Uh, you may want to check out your weekly forecasts if you haven't already. Those are linked in the description of the video. Love readings for May are linked in the description of the video. And if you would like to schedule a private reading with me, there's a link in the description of the video that will take you to calendly.com slash amethystangelite. And you can schedule a private reading with me there. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day ahead. Take care and be well, my dears. Bye.